So Kiss Anime is on Snake Way as I speak and on their way to see King Kai. And we ain't got no Dragon Balls to bring them back. Rest in peace, Kiss Anime, bro. For real, I don't feel no type of way about it. I haven't, I haven't watched anything on Kiss Anime since. Woof. Uh, damn. I'd say 2015. Um. The last thing I watched on Kiss Anime was, uh, I think it was Naruto. No, 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 I'll take that back. It was, uh, it was Lupin the Third, uh, part two. And, and, uh, Cyborg, uh, 009. Those were the last two things I watched on, um, Kiss Anime, and that was in 2015. Now, I first got hip to Kiss Anime, um, I want to say 2013 kiss anime was the reason why i got caught up to um one piece i was watching one piece on uh kiss anime um my homie uh rushi what's up he had put me on uh one piece and i was watching it on uh kiss anime and really i was just using kiss anime for a lot of older stuff so like i said i was watching lupine cyborg 009 old gundam stuff it i was using kiss anime mainly for watching old stuff i'm talking about from like 70s 80s um because that's the only place i can find it um anywhere else man i have to either try to find it on like an out of print dvd which is what i do now but back then it wasn't guaranteed that I would I would like the anime, so I didn't want to go out and spend money on a DVD and end up not liking it. But now today, you got so many streaming like streaming uh, services for anime. Since I'm in America, like I can watch a couple episodes or something, and then like, all right, I buy that, and then I'll go buy it. Back then when I was watching Kiss Anime, it wasn't like that. So I was, I just didn't feel like spending the money. And plus I, I I was broke, so I couldn't spend the money if I wanted to back then. But I think now with it being gone, I think the one thing I, I, that, that's kind of like a, like a, I guess like a bummer and kind of messed up in a way is that other regions or other countries don't have the same access to anime like we do in the states so kiss anime was like like their source and only source that they could go to to watch anime and now with it being gone they don't really have options for real now i'm pretty sure there's plenty of other like piracy sites that um exist but i don't know if those were as good as kiss anime were or as convenient um, now, there's two, I guess, sides to this that's being taken. So you got one side that is happy that Kiss Anime is dead. And then the other side is just like the people who are in different countries. And even even the people here in the States that use uh, Kiss Anime and, glad, and, and upset that it's gone. Um, like I said, I'm in, I'm in different... Um, I use Crunchyroll, Funimation, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime. That's five different things I'm paying for to watch anime on. Um, so like that's why I'm indifferent. Like I don't really care about Kiss Anime. Like I said, I haven't watched it consistently in five years. I understand the standpoint of the people who are glad it's gone because you got people who feel that like look they're stealing which they are they they <laughs> it's illegal this is the whole site is illegal um they're stealing and they're not really like giving back to the anime community but on the flip side they are kind of giving to the anime community to the people who don't have access to the five sites that i have access to so that's kind of like the 
fork in the road, so to speak. So I understand both sides, you know what I'm saying? And I, I get it. But if you in America like me, there's really no reason for you to even use Kiss Anime. Um, but I get it if you do. The reason being is because, let me just go down the list, okay. Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll has a myriad of, of like issues, bro. Um, I haven't had issues in about a month, going on, a, going on two months, let me knock on wood. Um, it's been cool so far, but like, for example, if I'm not watching Crunchyroll on my TV or like the box that I stream from, I'm gonna have issues. So me, my tablet has issues, my phone issues, uh, my laptop issues. I, I it's, it's basically I can only watch Crunchyroll like when I'm at home, <laughs> and even then sometimes it be tripping. Um, the user interface on Crunchyroll is terrible. Like it be having buffering problems, like and then errors be popping up out of nowhere. Some sometimes like when the buffering issues start, like it'll it'll make me lose my spot and then I have to start all over again and I don't remember like where I left off to begin with. But it's it's just a pain. Like I, I'm I'm almost done with it and then I gotta go find the spot where I was at. And that's super hard to do when it's subbed. You know what I'm saying? Funimation. I just started using it, but basically the same issues they're a little bit better than crunchyroll so far i like i said i just got started with funimation i use funimation strictly for dubs that's it so if i feel like i got a busy day and i can't like lock in on the anime that i'm watching that that day i go to funimation and just watch the dub of it so i can just hear it netflix netflix is pretty okay they got two issues. The voice, not the voiceover, but the translations on Netflix is terrible. Terrible. Like try to watch the sub on Netflix and then watch it on like a uh, Crunchyroll, night and day, terrible. <laughs> um, how I found that out was kind of funny. I was, uh, I was watching a One Piece episode, just doing research on, uh, for uh, Alabaster. That's one of the arcs or whatever. And I started out watching it on Netflix, watched the whole episode. Then I rewatched it on uh, Crunchyroll uh, a day later, just to try to uh, brush up on some things, on some notes. And it was totally different. Like the translations was off. And I was like, hold up. So I went back and I'm like, yo, this seems more aligned with with <laughs> what I should go with. Cause then I ended up reading the manga chapter and finding a specific part and the manga lined up more with Crunchyroll than it did with Netflix. Netflix was just outfield somewhere else. And then they don't have as many like titles on Netflix, man. Like it's, it's slim pickings on Netflix. Prime, Amazon Prime is more if you're looking for some old anime, that's where you go. That Prime Prime got it. Um, I, I I don't I haven't really seen any like recent titles on there that comes with Prime unless you got to pay for them or something. I, I haven't checked, but I get I get lost in like the old titles. I'm like, oh man, they got Lupin on here. They got uh like old Gundam stuff on here. They like they got all types of uh, old titles that I forgot about, forgot even existed. And then I ended up, I ended up getting lost in those. And then I don't even, I don't even check for new stuff on there. But like I said, like here, I understand somebody watching Kiss Anime and they in America mainly because it was like, yo, do I, do I sacrifice my money for like a shitty platform? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like terrible like watch experience. And then I may not even find the title I like on there. Or I just deal with a bunch of <laughs> pop-up ads and potentially get malware on my computer 
just to <laughs> just to like enjoy my anime. When I was watching Kiss Anime, I didn't mind. The pop up ads didn't bother me. The only time it, it, it started getting like annoying was like if I was going deep into a series like like One Piece for example like when I was watching One Piece and I was just like yo I'm trying to like watch this seamlessly that's when it got annoying and that's when I I started uh trying to find like a, a different like streaming service to watch anime on so I forgot when I ended up getting Crunchyroll um oof I want to say I might have been yeah 2016 yeah so 2016 i ended up getting crunch roll because i wanted to watch naruto i i never seen naruto at the time so i'm like yo let me see what the hype is about and uh and watch it and i watched it seamlessly through crunch roll with no issues after i finished naruto that's when i started having the issues with crunch roll and stuff like that but i can i can definitely understand why people would, st would stick with kiss anime over there because all those issues when you when you in deep on stuff man and you just trying to watch it and then it's just buffering trash and then the user interface is just terrible and it, it just make you give up basically now one thing is for damn sure is that i don't feel sorry for kiss anime shutting down at Oh, bro, like I want to say they've been around probably seven, maybe eight. Yeah, seven to eight years. And within the seven to eight years, you don't even think of even trying to go legal. You just kept operating illegally and and making all this money. I know they made so much money because just off the ads they were putting on there alone they they would literally throw any ad on there i believe if you just paid them so think of just like all the people around the world just giving them money and then i don't even think kiss anime had like a staff so they didn't have no staff to pay the people that was putting the content up there were mainly just average people like me or i wouldn't put nothing on there but i'm just saying like average citizens putting up stuff up there so they didn't have a staff to pay so they were just pocketing all the money from the ads like so the fact that they didn't even attempt to like purchase like uh like purchase titles to put on the platform was just baffling to me now i don't know how much that cost to put like a like an anime title on a platform it could be super expensive i don't know check me on that but kiss anime just kind of reminded me of like a like you ever see like those like drug movies and <laughs> or a drug show and the kingpin on there, they up like 50 million, 100 million dollars like net worth, right? And I'll be watching it the whole time like, yeah, this is entertaining and all, but like, bro, if I got 50 million net worth, I'm quitting the game, it's over. Like, these people, <laughs> the people, the characters be coming from like dirt, poor, just no money for food, barely got a roof over their head and then they got 50 million and they don't want to leave the game alone so like they'll still take the chance of getting killed by the police or somebody else who hating on them in the game and then of course it's the same story at the end they either get killed or they they in the feds doing 25 to life or just a flat life uh sentence or whatever kiss anime was operating the same way it was operating like a drug dealer in that show like bro you already up all this money you might as well try to make it go legit so you can at least keep it because like people like people are actually choosing your platform not because it's free because crunchyroll has a free option and it has ads just like kiss anime has a more annoying ads but they still choosing kiss anime over crunchyroll because the interface is better and is is more convenient for them it's like it's better than funimation it's better than crunchyroll so like, dog, you ain't think once, like, oh, man, people, like, really mess with our platform. Let's try to, like, go legit. They didn't think of that once. So I do not have one ounce of sympathy for Kiss Anime. Not at all, bro. But respect to Kiss Anime just off the fact that it was an era. It's an end of an era, bro. Like, that was a time. Like, everybody I knew was using Kiss Anime. So shout out to them. Like, it, there's, there's no place where you had 
damn near every anime title and every manga title in one spot, bro. Like, I don't think we'll ever get that, ever. I don't think that's ever happening again. Unless it's on some other, like, uh, piracy site. And one of those, like, grows to be just as big as Kiss Anime was and then duplicates the same thing. But I'm talking about, like, legally, that'll never happen. That, that'll never happen. I, I wish it could, but it won't. But now, with um, Kiss Anime gone, that, that leaves... You know what? I'm, I'm gonna mention one more thing about like Kiss Anime uh, leaving. The one thing I am sad about is that some people go to Kiss Anime and they find like a, a old anime or just like a very like underrated and like slept on anime uh, series, and they can't find that series nowhere else but Kiss Anime, right? And then a lot of people will find like those type of series on Kiss Anime and then actually find out who made them and actually like support them, like give them money for like merch and like, you know, toys and stuff like that. And that and that's the one thing I think that that I kind of care about um, a lot because a lot of series get saved that way. And then, you know, other companies see like, oh, so this is a popular like series because they generate this type of money let's put that series on our platform which is bigger you know what i'm saying and legal and that's i guess that's one thing that that's kind of messed up though because a lot of people was fine including myself i was finding out about series like that and i'd be like yo let me go buy a t-shirt from somewhere see if i can find a t-shirt or something and i end up buying it and that's me giving like real dollars to the community you know what i'm saying um, now, with Kiss Anime gone, I'm speaking to like people here in America. So now, the people who was just strictly using Kiss Anime got a choice to make between the other uh, platforms. Now, for me, the best one out of all of them, I think I've said this time and time again, is Hulu. Every time I go to Hulu and look for a title, it's there. Hulu interface is clean you know what i'm saying um translations clean every time i go to hulu for something they deliver it's, it's the most consistent i'm not saying hulu hasn't had its problems i just had a problem with hulu in june yeah in june i had a problem with hulu but it wasn't for anime it was the whole just app itself i was having issues more like password issues and stuff like that but i got it taken care of and everything and but that one is the most consistent so I would, if somebody's like, yo, I just want to, if I just want to go somewhere where it's like consistent, I go with Hulu first and then, you know, experiment with the others while you, you're dealing with Hulu. Now, the, the problem is a lot of, another problem is with the other ones, like outside of like Netflix and Hulu, because both of those, both of those platforms used to be trash when they first started, you know what I'm saying? But they, they, they the creme de la creme now, you know what I'm saying? But those other places like the, the crunchy rolls and the uh, Funimations, like when I have like password issues or when people have password issues, it, it's gonna take damn near like a year to get stuff like taken care of. I'm I'm, I'm joking, but like it, it feel that way. It's like, bro, like why can't you just help me right on the spot? You know what I'm saying? Hulu, Hulu will take care of some stuff real quick. Netflix will take care of some stuff, stuff real quick. Those other like Viz, um, Crunchyroll, Funimation, VRV, like all that stuff, like it takes forever to get stuff like handled. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's another thing that that might turn some people off. Now you won't be mad at Kiss Anime for some shit like that because it's like, dog, I'm watching this for free. I can't even trip <laughs> doing something illegal. But with this, it's gonna make you more upset. Like, man, I'm paying this much a month. May not it ain't a lot to me because I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I can pay for all that stuff for one. It, it may be some college student that ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got no kind of money. And Kiss Anime was the only way they, they keep their sanity. You know what I'm saying? But now they gotta pay for a streaming service that the interface is messed up and then the buffering messed up and they can't even get a consistent watch. Yeah, they gonna bug out. You know what I'm saying? And they have a right to be upset, man, because. 
you know, Crunchyroll is getting all these subscriptions. I'm talking millions of subscriptions. Um, Funimation is getting all these subscriptions. And they're getting bigger, but they're not getting better. They still plagued with the same issues they had when they was operating on a small scale. So it's just like, dog, like, what's really going on? Why would I want to, like, spend money on y'all when y'all not even fixing the issues, when y'all getting bigger as a platform? Like, I've heard the rumor that Sony was suppo is supposedly buying a Crunchyroll. I don't know how true that is, but one could hope and pray that if Sony buys Crunchyroll, that they would fix those issues because I've never had an issue with Sony. You know what I'm saying? The only issues I had with Sony's was when I had a PS4 and I had Crunchyroll on it that I couldn't watch the Crunchyroll through the PS4. That was the only problem I really had with with uh, with Sony and that wasn't even their fault. So it is what it is there. I just, I just hope that they, that these bigger companies get bigger and like, and better, like actually fix these issues so more people can like subscribe and get into anime. Like I said in one of my previous videos, I love when people like get into anime for the first time. I don't shame nobody for it. I don't say, oh, you late. None of that. That's weak shit. I don't ever do no shit like that. Like, especially like, like I said, I just, I just started watching Bleach. How long Bleach been out? I just started watching, I, I watched Naruto, like I said in this video, 2015, 2016. Like, Naruto been out since what? 01, 2000? I don't know. Like, I, I love when people get into anime or if they already in the anime get into uh popular anime titles whether they whether if they like them or dislike them it's just the experience and i like to see what they thought and what their perspective was on what they saw and i i'm i'm praying that like that crunchyroll will get better funimation get better and more people want to subscribe people who of course, can't go to Kiss Anime no more. Subscribe to them. The people who ain't never subscribed to anything. Subscribe to them, you know, and just get hip into anime and stuff like that. But they they just got to do a better job of just putting their product out there, man. I mean, Crunchyroll is doing pretty decent with it. Like they had they had uh, Megan Thee Stallion, which she's one of the most uh, popular uh, rappers in the world, and they was doing like quarantine interviews with her, and then I think she did some uh, merch with them on a site and stuff like that. So that's the start, like, and she has a huge following, especially like a huge female following, of course. And that'll get more women like, oh, that anime character looks cute. I wonder where can I watch that at? You know what I'm saying? And they go right to Crunchyroll and subscribe. And then see, usually, cause I, don't, I know she's really big on, uh, she's really into uh, My Hero, Hero Academia a lot. So, you know, they go there, watch that, and then they in the anime and they find something else like that that they may like, and then boom, you got another anime fan in the community that you can connect with, that you can like talk to and stuff like that. So that that's that's something that I hope like with Kiss Anime being gone, that they really improve those platforms so we can really get stuff popping. Cause like I said, the utopia is gone, like that I wish we had where manga and every anime title is under one roof. We can get things going there, one stop shop, you good. But that, I'm, that'll never happen. I don't see that happening at all, but one can pray. But yeah, I've been rambling this whole video, man. I did this off the top of my head. I just wanted to give my thoughts on uh, Kiss Anime being gone, sleeping with the fishes. Man, R.P. Kiss Anime, man. I'm gonna miss those uh those um malware attempts. You were never successful with my computers, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna miss the little little porn ads. I I'll just be watching. I'll be watching One Piece, and I'm like, oh man, there's ass right there in the top right corner. Oh, right there in the middle too. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't really watch it at work. I did watch it at work anyway, but luckily. There wasn't no huge like uh <laughs> porn ad right there. I really want I really like my porn separated from my anime, bro. Like so let's just let's just keep it that way. But man, RIP to uh Kiss Anime. What do y'all think, bro? Like how did Kiss Anime impact your life? Are you glad it's gone? Are you sad it's gone? Um do you what streaming services do you guys use? Do you use the Crunchyroll Funimation Viz? Name them down in the comments. Do y'all like them or dislike those? Let me know what's up. As you can see, we still healthy. I'm done rambling. 
Benny Greenheart out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. All that jazz. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.